Hear ye, hear ye, now join the Knights of the Round Table. It's another one of our 101X uh, homegrown featured artists. Gentlemen, tell us about you. Tell us about yourselves. What are you doing here? <laughs> um, well, our name is Nightcap. Uh, we're from Austin, Texas, and uh, we we were called upon... <laughs> on a quest. Save, on a quest to save the 230 slot here at Float Fest because... Yes. Uh, someone was stricken by a foul illness that uh, has plagued the earth for the last, uh, I'd say two to three years we thought it was gone but it did have a revenge and it came back and struck one of the bands and anyway we're here <sighs> filling in for uh what is it uh ga be it games a we play yeah. be it a foul wench or an evil dragon, <laughs> dragon. Uh, i'm just kidding dragon. sorry but uh, dragon, dragon. Uh, <laughs> really excited to have y'all here because again y'all are going to be doing uh one of our big homegrown live shows uh you're our featured homegrown artist of the month and uh if john laird likes someone he sends it to me, I'm like, oh yeah, that's good, that's good. So uh, excited y'all pop by. How are you surviving the heat so far? Uh, as Texans living in Austin, we're kind of used to it, but this is a little different. A lot of cold water. Uh, I think that's step one. Uh, we all brought our, uh, you know, fanciest sunglasses out for the occasion today. Nice. So, you know, we, uh, we're preparing where we can. Uh, got a great night's sleep last night, so. Yeah. You so know. you got a great night's sleep. That's the thing that we were both talking about, Spinny. Yeah, I, I get really anxious before an event like this. Do you guys ever have that sort of experience, or are you just so Definitely, used to it by now? But I, I would say that wild. none of us, it didn't hit us that we were going to play a festival until probably today because yeah. we got a text message at, I don't know, 10 o'clock yesterday morning, figured out details by the early evening, and... Um, at that point, we just said, "Okay, we're getting on the road in the morning, and we're yeah. gonna go play yeah. a show." Yeah, and we we're in the so, studio. We we're in the studio all day yesterday, working on some new music. And whilst setting up, we got the call, and we we're like, "Uh, yeah, definitely, we'll do that." But we we're working on that song. Your all brain day, was so in a different place. Yeah, we didn't even we didn't even notice until we were driving here. I was like, "Oh, we're we're about to yeah, we're about to play a music festival." That's, yeah, that's cool. We and both. It was, it was awesome. We both just had the thing where for a week we knew we had to do this. Had to uh, interview, like, uh, I think church's first thing, and I'm, I'm a big fan. They're super, like, nice and cool, yeah. but still just couldn't sleep, and then couldn't sleep last <laughs> night, and then I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to be in the heat supposedly yeah. talking to people, but it, it's amazing that uh, at least our asses are sitting back here in this AC unit. Nice. You're up on the stage. Lucky ones. Yeah. Yeah, in the yeah. shade on stage. Yeah, it was. It's okay. Been, I think we yeah. got it pretty good. I mean, it's well, we were just walking around. We just got back. We we're checking out some shows, and it's uh, it's a hot one. It is no lie. It is it is one of the hottest times of the year. The for way sure, you guys time. got nervous for churches, we get nervous to talk to John Laird. So okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He he's, we love John me too. I don't know him that well. So <laughs> <laughs> no, he's fine. He could be very imposing. I actually uh, officiated his wedding. And he's just way. like, he's very much like, well, why didn't you just, not at the wedding, but that's, that's the joke we always do is because he's always like, well, why didn't you just, it's like, oh, if I thought of that, then I would have effing done that. But geez. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. speaking of, you know, you guys played early, you, you did your thing. Do you now get to kind of chill and relax after this? Are y'all going to hang and see? Are y'all going to float the I'm river? Well, we're about to go see yeah, our, our our good buddies uh, Adam and Vince. Me and Adam, they're playing at five. Oh yeah, 15, we we, we talked with them earlier. So we're gonna sprint over there, but uh, yeah, we actually, I mean, until about I don't know eight p.m. and then maybe we'll head back to Austin. We're gonna shoot a music video tomorrow for the new song that we're gonna put out uh, August tenth. Oh, so you and gotta. So it's just it's been rumbling. Boom, 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 boom. Adding Float Fest to the lineup this weekend was something that we did not really think about yeah. doing but we just immediately were like oh yeah 100 percent." no i yeah. think that's great Gotta because that. with uh the thing i love about festivals especially in the austin areas we have so many great artists and then people you know they're coming to see dead mouse they're coming to see cage the elephant but that's how you discover something amazing because at one point cage the elephant was playing the 230 slot at oh, yeah. whatever um yeah we met some really great people today that you know that were part of that set and came out and, and saw and they're like oh you know, great set. I'm glad we were there, and yeah, it's really good to to hear things like that, and you know, get to meet new people, new yeah. people that enjoy the music. So it's been a good day. It's been awesome. good. Yeah. I'm I'm glad y'all got the call and got to come down and do this. Uh, gonna yeah. be excited to see y'all at the uh, 101X Homegrown Live Show. But yeah. before you get out of here, um, I have to ask every artist this question. 
It comes from our fans. They they need to know this. And I mean, I've had someone like uh, Patrick Carney from the Black Keys spend 10 minutes answering this question or Annie from St. Vincent spending about a minute. But it's very important and it's something that every artist, it's part of their interview initiation with this show. Yeah. What is the that. dumbest instrument and why? the dumbest instrument I what have. is the dumbest the dumbest instrument and why is that instrument so dumb now, you guys can answer individually if you want it doesn't have to be a group effort <laughs> exactly I, you guys know what a bella Leica is no clue it's a, a three stringed russian guitar and i believe two of the strings are tuned the exact same way and it's a giant triangular shape with a stick coming out of the top okay, okay. <laughs> everything about it is just uh it's inefficient it's clunky. Um, it's lazy. It's, it's lazy. It's, la it's lazy. It's lazy. And that's kind of where I think I agree with you. I'm going to give it to you straight. The rain stick. Like, <laughs> oh, like yeah. just rain go stick. Out. They, that one hurts me. That's <laughs> just go out. Go sample some rain. Do, just go out in the rain, right? Go touch some grass. Get out in the rain. And yeah, every hippie aunt that has uh, yeah, yeah. dragon blankets as curtains has a rain stick that she bought at a flea market. Every strange yeah. corner that I've turned in my entire life, there's been a rain stick somewhere in the next room. Sure. Yeah. Every every weed dealer has one of those. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you, you go to just buy a bag and then he makes you hang out for four hours. Yeah. Like, geez, I just want to get like, the hell yeah, out of actually here. Writing the screenplay? Yeah. Uh, checking it out. This is my rain stick in C. This is my rain stick in F. In all that. It's like the instrument you give your little cousin, yeah. right? When you're like, yeah, let's go jam. Yeah. Yeah, you're like, yeah. Last but not least. Um, I'd say a recorder. I just, uh, I, I had to learn how to play one. And uh, I just, the same notes are over and over in my head, repeating like a horror film in my dreams. So I, I can't stand the recorder. And that's, yeah, that's the lamest, lamest instrument for me. Okay. And did we get you? I don't think we did. Man, if we're going to get really meta with it, I would say the dumbest instrument, quite possibly, and the smartest, would be the human voice, I think. It could be. If it's my voice, dumb. It, it depend, depending yeah. on the human voice, that could quite possibly be the dumbest instrument. Uh, my fiance, but it could be the smartest. You never know. My fiance will tell you mine is grating and dumb. So uh, <laughs> thanks for hanging with us, Nightcap. Uh, look forward to seeing you all around in the future and stuff like that. And, you know, anytime, let us know when you want to hang out. Absolutely. Cool. Thanks Appreciate y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah.